I knew who won, and I knew that we won the award. But I had to keep it real quiet because Ryan had no idea. All right, so we have a banquet coming up this Saturday, right? A gala of some sort? Yeah, we're excited. I mean, we, I guess we've been nominated for Business of the Year, which that's a pretty cool deal. But, I mean, there's some pretty heavy hitters here in Green Valley, and, you know, I, I, I think they have a pretty good shot right now. So. What's the theme of this uh, banquet? Are you excited about the theme? Or? I, I, well, I wasn't, I wasn't to begin with, but then I kind of... Kind of played along after I bought some some clothing, but we're gonna do a 1920s gangster party. Uh, excuse me, a 1920s uh, gala party. I want to start out by saying thank you so much for coming, and I am so excited to see the amount of people that actually dressed the part. Like I thought I was gonna be the only one. So thank you everybody that that went along with my theme. I've been planning this for two years, and we and we got it kicked off. I, we're supposed to, it's a 20s theme. Are you going to be dressed up for it? Well, I didn't plan on it. Did your wife plan on it? Well, she didn't plan on it until somebody else's wife <laughs> said, Hey, I bought this stuff on Amazon or wherever. And five minutes later, my wife had ordered 10 packages worth of different things. So, yes, I uh, had to dress up. So the wives conspired and you got, bit, you got roped bit. into it? I mean, I looked good, but that's okay. So, what, how are we supposed to find out? So they're supposed to give us a call to, to let us know. And we, have, we haven't gotten a call. So. so the banquet is on Saturday. It's on Saturday. And yeah. we haven't heard anything, and it's no, Friday. It's Friday, we haven't heard anything. So we're going to go and, and, and show a force, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for a phone call. Supposedly a phone call is supposed to be coming in. Um, I, I haven't heard anything, so I, I, I'm not holding my breath. We've worked hard for it, but if, if we don't get it. So, what happened at the banquet, Kevin? Man, so I, I walked in, and we never got a call, so I didn't know who won the awards, but I saw the award table. So what I did is I went over there, and I looked at everybody who won, so I knew. Okay, so we walk in. Kevin's already there because he's always everywhere early. Well, usually everywhere early. And uh, walk in, sit down at our table, and I ask Kevin, hey, Kevin, we never heard anything. Did you hear anything? And he's like, no. But I went over to the table. And I'm like, all right. We we'll have to tell Ryan. He's like, no, no, no. Let's not tell Ryan. So we didn't tell Ryan. Actually, we, we, we told Ryan the opposite, but uh, we didn't know. And didn't get a phone call, so we weren't in And that's how we played it out. Yeah, so the, the plan is to, to, I told Ben, I said, Ben, we won the award, but we can't let Ryan know, so you've got to help. And so Ben played along. Ryan asked about if he thought we were going to get the award. Ben's like, no, man, we never had a call. So it was perfect, right? It is now time that you get to hear from the president of the board. Kevin Gertz. Before I ask him to come to the podium, I just want to let you know how incredibly hard Kevin works. Members, um, our community partners, our community investors, thank you for all that you do. Um, I wanted to give a special thanks. Um, I know uh, Ryan, you don't like anybody to, to you know, but I, I want you to know how how special you guys are, the Waite family. Thank you so much. Thank you, Moxie Pest Control, for allowing me to. Um, to do what it takes. You know, it's not just nights, it's not weekends, it's a lot of work time that they provide me the hours to do what I need to do for the partnership. So thank you very much. I'd like to get a round of applause for the ways. So the 2020 Business of the Year is Costantino's Price Chopper, Green Valley. Our 2021 Business of the Year, State Line Door and Lift. Of the year. Our nominees are Moxie Pest Control. <laughs> Moxie is a, a local family owned pest control company. They have taken the bug business by storm the past 
Moxie with their fun videos and TikToks. <laughs> Moxie has been around for 17 years. Their success is driven by their dedication to, to offering quality service, understanding the industry, and offering environmentally friendly treatments. <laughs> so the award for 2022 Business of the Year goes to Moxie Pest Control. <laughs> Business Person of the Year. The nominees are Casey Hazy. And, uh, and then when Calm uh, finds out he, he, he's, he's, he's a pretty pacey white guy, his face was ten shades of purple and white and red and blue. You should have seen it. It was great. He had no idea. He was so embarrassed. He could he, he, he forgot to bring his wife up to, to get the award with him. He had no idea what was going on. It was awesome. <laughs> Uh, he's pissed at me, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so they get up there and they're announcing, and I already know that I have to be ready, so I get the cameras rolling, and, and uh, my wife motions to Ryan's wife and tells her he might want to be recording. He's just sitting there in front of us. He goes up to accept the award, and Kevin's already up there. All right, so what happened after the uh, ceremony? I ate Ben and Kevin. <laughs> so, yeah, so we didn't get a phone call. And so I'm like, hey, yeah. cool, we're here for dinner. Uh, we'll enjoy it. I feel like I'm a little out of place, not in my 20s garb. I don't have my Tommy gun with me. But uh, I'll enjoy the night with my wife and good friends and then freaking call me up. And I turn around for help and support from my crew, and they're all just sitting there laughing. Now and wait, were they sitting there laughing, or were, were, what was going on? <laughs> ben claims he was filming. Well, was he filming? Yeah, but he could have got up and, and could have <laughs> come and helped me. But no, he left me high and dry, and Kevin was already up there, but I would have liked to see him shuffle back to help me. Something, I don't know. But I turned around to my wife to kind of like reach for help and she just sat there laughing too, which was pretty cool. So we got him. I didn't realize how upset Ryan was gonna be. He was pretty upset and blamed us and I just was filming it. Now, to my defense, if I hadn't filmed it, I would, he would have been more upset, I think. So, lesser of two evils on, on my part. Can you see it? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. So we got our award. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's great. We uh, Business of the Year at Green Valley. So thank you, Green Valley, for voting. It was awesome. It was good to be there. Okay, so do you feel like you got him? I got him. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> you got him. And it's a good got him because we got an award for it. Not for that, but because of the thing. Well, I feel like I deserve a award for it. Well, I mean, you tried to get him before. It never worked. It didn't work. <laughs> it was it was actually it's miserably, like you know, I miserably yeah, failed that. It was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> All right. So, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you later. a phone call. No phone call came, but we still had already bought tickets, so we were going to go and support the community. <laughs> Can you not do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's pissed at me, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Anything else we want from him? <laughs> Alright, Ryan. It's got a theme my wife's all she went and ordered some 20s gear. Uh, I'll 
sure, I'm sure she'll look hot in it, but man, uh, I don't know if they've got anything that fits fat guys. Of course, old, the old mobsters were pretty fat guys. No offense to you fat mobsters. <laughs> and, uh, 